It's a new season, it's a new day. Many people have asked how you should start off the new year. First, in prayer. We are asking everyone to go into 30 days of prayer and fasting. We have a 30-day prayer guide at our Connect Desk to help you on this journey. Secondly, start with generosity. Every start of the new year, you must always remember that before you can be blessed, you must be a blessing. Before you can receive, you must give. In recognition of this biblical mandate, we as a church would like you to give toward one of our mission projects. In particular, we are giving blankets of blessings and cards of encouragement to our local nursing homes. Participate with us by bringing in a blanket and card of encouragement for our seniors in the community. Thirdly, get engaged. Join our Sunday morning men and women's Bible study between services, servant leader training on February 4th between services, church baptism on January 28th, and Super Bowl Sunday on February 11th. This is a fun Sunday where we encourage you to wear your sports and favorite team apparel. We are proud of the vision of this church. While the journey of our church and our mission has begun many years ago, we are forging ahead to a glorious future and we want to share with you our three-year statement of ministry. We sent out a special email and text to everyone on our contact list. This special ministry book so everyone can see all that we do as a church for the kingdom of God. It also is our guide to show our impact as a church. We encourage you to look through it and share the message with others of all the great ways we strive to help people, save souls through evangelism, strive to strengthen our community, and how we are a healthy investment for you. So I guess I was uh, divorced 11 years ago. And of course I had, I owned a home with my ex-husband. And um, then after the divorce, I went through some challenges, some really, really serious challenges um, financially. And um, then it became, um, I became a single parent and I've always wanted to own a home by myself. I just, just did. And I would always just, you know, drop that in my prayers. Like, God, you know, if it's your, if it's your will, make a way. I continued to tithe. <laughs> when I tell you that that right there, I can just stop right there because tithing works. I mean, I cannot testify enough about how tithing works. I just continued to be faithful, continued to tithe, and he just made a way. And I just knew in the back of my mind, okay, I wanted to be a homeowner. I, I rented for a while, a couple of years with my son, and you know, it just, it just didn't feel right. I just always wanted to own a home of my own. So God blessed me during the pandemic when we were building for Kingdom Fellowship, I was praying and believing that God was going to allow me to be a homeowner by myself. And I just continued again to be faithful and tied and he just made a way no matter what I needed. He helped me build the savings and he helped, you know, he repaired my credit tremendously and just I just kept tied and just believing and no matter every t at every turn, he just provided every single time and during the pandemic i was able to purchase my own home in my own name um in in an area that i absolutely adore so <laughs> he provided i mean and and then some i mean it just i don't know how i was able to qualify um, for the home that I had other than God. I don't know how I was able to get the down payment other than God. I'm a school teacher and I'm a single parent and I did not I did not have a large savings, but God just kept building and building and and when I needed this amount of money and I mean he just it, he just provided and I just continued to be faithful and God blessed me with a home which I adore. So um, that's my testimony. I mean, God does provide and I, I've never stopped tithing, never. I will never stop tithing because he, he will always make a way. And I tell everybody who, you know, struggles, oh, I'm a single parent, I can't do it. I mean, I'm a school teacher on a single parent salary, I mean, at, at the time, and it just, I don't know, he just made a way. So if you think you can't do it, you're wrong <laughs> because with God, all things are possible. They just are. So I don't know, that's my testimony and I'm loving my home and it's, you know, it's mine <laughs> and it's, it's possible. <laughs> Mount Zion on the move for Christ.